thank you to everyone who watched my first one last week. If you haven't watched it, it's right here. Um, happy Monday. I hope you had a great weekend. Mine was interesting and you can read all about it um, on my blog www.facebook.com. Um, so, the second lesson in this series, the lesson that I've learned as a creative entrepreneur, is the importance of attending events that are related to your niche and also networking with people that you meet there. So, if for example, you sell or you're like a wedding vendor, there's something called the Wedding Expo, which you should attend. If you don't live in Lagos, there's also one in Abuja. Um, if you sell like, if you make your own maybe hair products, like shea butter, um, there's like Niger Hair Can Grow Saloon Day Out. There's Nashua's in the CC. And like when you attend these events, don't be shy and don't just sit down in the corner, expect someone to come and talk to you. Like if you see someone that you think is a potential client or potential customer, go up to them and talk to them. Um, I remember I was at some, like the first night I had Cambridge Saturday out, I attended at the White Space. And one girl was just like, oh, you I live your dreams. Um, oh, I remember you from Live Your Dreams, you played this. That's when I was like, oh yeah, hi. Like it was nice someone like come and talk to me. And I was like, yeah. She was like, oh, I make share butter. I make my own with share butter. I do want to try it and I bought it. And yeah, that's how she sold. So last week I attended Lagos Startup Week. But last week was Lagos Startup Week. And on Wednesday, there was an event at the White Space called Cultural, Cultural Entrepreneurs, the Art of Storytelling. Um, now, I got there, and on the panel, we had a Wana Wana from Inspiration FM, Yegua Uko, Stranger Lagos, we had Adam Mufia, we had someone from the African Arts Foundation, we had Tola Kirele, who's like the co founder of Bogobiri House, and we had um, Tom Sachar, who's like a photographer that is making a big box. And they just shared their stories, and there was a panel discussion as well, where Papa Amotaya, who's one of the, um, he's the creative director of White Space, he asked them some questions, and then the audience um, were allowed to ask questions as well. And I learned a lot from it. So, for example, Tom was homeless for seven years, and he, um, he used to, like, sleep by the like newspaper kiosk, magazine kiosk, and I used to browse through them. I was just like, these pictures are really interesting, kind of thing. And anytime I saw someone with a camera, I would follow them and learn from them. And there was someone, a book guy, that even invited him to his hotel room and told him more about photography. So um, he now used to just take pictures anytime he meet someone that borrowed him their camera, and then he would mail editors, he would email them. No, there wasn't even email at that time, he would write post letters. And after a while, someone from some magazine was like, oh, I like your pictures, I want you to do this. I want to travel around Nigeria for a month. And the person asked for the rates. He didn't know what rates were. He had to go and ask people, okay, what's our rates, what's our rates. And he got $5,000, and that was back in the day. So, yeah, imagine. Okay. That doesn't relate to the point I mentioned this post, but I'm just sharing the story. So, like, when you attend these events, you get inspired by people's stories and it just causes you to think out of the box, you know, not just to sit down and be complacent and expect things to fall your way or clients to just run to you. Um, you actually have to take the first step and be bold when you attend these events and talk to people. So yeah, networking is key. Um, so like I'm playing at TEDx, I'm playing at, I'm playing at, I'm at TEDx Bagada on the 19th of September and the way I met, like I met the person, the convener of TEDx at Live Your Dreams Africa, which, like I said, I've already said Live Your Dreams in this video, haven't I? But Live Your Dreams Africa, I will link, I will leave a link to the blog post about it so you can like read about it if you don't know what it is. So she saw me play sax there, like, it was even in, on the morning of the event that Banky, who the organizer, mailed me, I was like, no, send me a text, I was like, please, come your sax, you're playing national anthem, kind of. And she saw me there, she got my card. I didn't hear for her for like for like three months and then out of the she just called me. I was like, Oh TEDx is coming up. I want like I used to go down, blah blah blah, and that's how it happened. So network, you never know who you're talking to. Um yeah, and attend events that are related to you. You should say you don't know about these events. Bella and I just put a post up every Thursday of events for the weekend, so does Star T, so does on a real and they announce these things on the radio as well. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Like if you enjoy it. Um, subscribe, comment, share with your friends, and you can tell me your own experiences, like what you did from networking. Thanks for watching.